Yeah, how are you today? I'm doing alright, how are you? Oh, I'm doing a little bit better actually than what I have been. Um, my name is James Preston and uh, I'm calling in because uh, I need for uh, Sherwood there to uh, get on the ball and get some people down to the border so we can actually create a border. Also, um, I don't, I don't want him uh, or that office to be taking uh, weekends off until after uh, I can feel safe whenever I go to sleep at night. We the people uh, are tired of, uh, you know, uh, being un unsafe and unsecure in our own country. And I also certainly yeah. All right, go ahead. Um, can you also inform him that he's fired? That we the people no longer uh, want him to uh, to be there. He doesn't understand what represent means, and he's not representing us. Well, yeah, I can certainly pass on the message. Can I just get your zip code, please? Sure. Four, five, six. Message and your zip code, so I'll pass the message on to the center. Okay. Also, um, I'd like to know uh, if he if he is going to continue to be in. I, I don't really. It's not really. I like to know, but I guess I'm more or less making a statement. Um, I want him that if he's going to remain in there and he's not going to. Um, you know, uh, get out of there. I, I, I'd like to know, well, I, I guess it is a question. I want to know what do we do with the, these answer machines whenever I call and they hang up on we, the people like what's being done about that. In particularly, I had called, uh, this office, uh, my office and I had a, it was a Christopher that hung up on me and I'm trying to find the right steps or who I would contact about, uh, you know, seeing, seeing about getting uh, this person out of the position of whatever his position was. Yeah, so, we don't have any Christophers working for the office. Um, well, the, it, it is that you spoke with. The, well, uh, yeah, it, it's Christopher. All right, yeah, we don't have... No one on our staff goes by that name. Now, are you talking about in that office? No, of the entire staff. The entire staff. You don't have a Christopher. Okay, well, then there creates even more of a problem then because, um, I mean, I, I have it recorded and stuff. I mean, if you'd like for me to uh, send you a copy of it, I'd be more than glad to. Um, matter of fact, I could probably just go ahead and post it on my channel. And then you could watch it that way at, at any time that you'd want to. Matter of fact, is that one of them? We, we posted that, didn't we? I think so. Okay. So, yeah, you can find it on my channel if you wish. And if it if it's not, then I, I can uh, most certainly get it on there and then uh, let you know when it, when it is available. But what is the procedure and what is somebody to do when I'm employing uh, an answering machine and then they answer the phone. I mean, you, I mean, just set that aside for a minute. If I call in to uh, my quote unquote representatives, not leaders, but the representatives that's supposed to be representing and I talk to a human answering machine and they don't like what we the people are saying and they hang up on me what is the procedure when that happens? Yeah, it's certainly not our office's standard. I'm sorry to hear you had that experience. Um, as far as voicemail goes, we do monitor our voicemail, so any call that's received outside of our business hours, um, we do, I can sure you go through. Um, no, this this wasn't outside of no, 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 no. And see, actually, there shouldn't be any business hours because uh, this is a 24 hour seven days a week 365 days a year uh, job because you know we the people want to feel like that we are safe and not just feel that way but we want to be safe 24 7 365 days a year you see what I mean and I'm saying but this is not a 24 7 office so we cannot offer 
give you the services, but we do monitor our voicemail if you call outside of business hours. Okay, well, I disagree with you strong, strongly because it is a, a 24 hour office because uh, that building doesn't run home and go to sleep somewhere. It stands right there until the next day when it's occupied. So it, that office is there 24 hours a day. But I'm trying to find out, like, what is it that happens whenever I call and I, I have somebody who hangs up on we the people like that? Because let's set that aside for a second. We're not talking about uh, after a certain hour for you. I'm talking about during working hours, if there's a such thing as even that. You see what I mean? What time was it whenever I called? Uh, it was well before 4 around, o'clock. It was around 3, 3.40-ish. Three okay. Something anyway. like that. Anyway. Well, like I said, um, that's certainly not our standard and not what we're trained in what we do. Um, so I'm sorry you had that experience. We do do our best to be on the phones as much as possible. Um, so well, that, that's good. I should certainly hope so because I don't, I'm, not, I'm not in the habit of paying for and employing people who treat me like this and this is what I'm saying I mean I, I, I what do I need to do here because it, it's one thing for you to say well you know that's not our standard that's not what we do but I, I, I get all that I understand that but you're not talking at somebody I mean this is we the people your boss and if not uh, I, I mean what what do I need to do I mean is there a paper that I request or what, what do I need to do to do this the right way to make sure that I get my office running the way that it should be ran? I'm not understanding what your request is. Could you clarify? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I called in and was was talking to my office, um, and one of the answering machine people hung up on me while I was... Uh, to, I, I don't remember exactly what I was talking about, but I was relaying some requests, or not a request, but demands that we the people have, and I was hung up on by a Christopher when I called Sherwood's uh, office, our office. Like I said, there aren't any Christophers that work for Sherrod Brown's office. Um, okay, all right. What? Well, let, let's. All right. Let's 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 do this. Let's simplify it even further. Okay, if I call in, or anybody, any of we the people call in to our place where you are answering the machine, whether it's there, D.C., or Cincinnati, Georgia, I don't care, and somebody hangs up on one of us, uh, what is the proper pr procedure to make sure that person is removed because we're not going to employ people like that? We're not going to tolerate that. So how do we get them out? poor experience like that you're doing the right thing in terms of calling but there is no action that i can take as nobody by that name is employed. oh well the, okay now listen here's what i need for you to make sure that sherwood brown gets okay we need a uh, procedure put in place for this very thing you understand what i'm saying now because if you don't i will be glad to elaborate further on it you're saying there is no procedure for when we the people are uh, hung up on and rudely discharged like that. So, I am telling Sherwood Brown there that he is to create a policy or a procedure so that when this does happen, that we can remove anybody that is disrespecting we the people. Like I said, that does exist. But wait, 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 I'm sorry. Did you say it does? Doing the right thing and calling our office. Is uh, no, no. Uh, oh, oh, okay. All right. Well, let's go. Let's go in front. What is your name? Nobody by that name works here. My name is Hannah. Hannah. Uh, nice to talk to you, Miss Hannah. Um, Hannah. What What I'm saying is, is that's not really good enough. I don't really like that. You know what I mean? It's like if you have a car and the mirrors aren't big enough, you rip the them suckers off there and you put bigger mirrors on. You know what I mean? If you buy a truck and the motor's not big enough, you yank that bad boy out of there and put a bigger motor in. You see what I'm saying? You know, if your boat is not accommodating all the people that you want to put on the boat, you get a bigger boat. All right, we have adjustments to make here. 
I don't want to call in and say, Yeah, somebody hung up on me. Will you do something for that for me, please? I'm not begging nobody. I am telling you it's not good enough because there has to be a follow-up. And that's what the problem is today is there is no way to follow up on. People will call in and they'll say, Yeah, so-and-so down here, whatever, he's burning trash or whatever, and the smoke's coming over and it's damaging my whatever, my nose holes. You know what I mean? Then you don't know if they actually go over and they tell them anything or, or whatever, you know? And we have a procedure for following up the casework, but I can let the senator know of your opinion that you're not a No, no, nope, nope. See, you're not getting it, Hannah. It's not an opinion. What do you want, Noam? Do you want the same thing what I'm saying, yes or no? Yes. There you go. So we the people are talking to you, Hannah. Okay, you're not, we're, we're not saying this is our opinion. We are telling you what we want done. There has to be a paper, a policy, a procedure, not just a call in, oh, thanks for telling us your opinion. It's not an opinion no more, young lady. It's, it's not like that. You guys are not understanding. This is we, the people, we are talking, and we, we're, we're, we are changing things. This has to change. It's not working. You understand? Okay, he's not going to lay up there and pretend like that because every time uh, he wants to bark about, oh, well, I'm doing this for the people, I'm doing this for the people, but whenever the people are talking, it's like, screw you, we ain't doing nothing that you want, it's just an opinion. This is not an opinion. I'm telling him, through you, the answer machine, Hannah, write it down, and I expect for there to be a policy or a procedure with a piece of paper or something that there will be a follow-up so that we can see that whenever there's somebody that doesn't do things properly and we want them removed, that they get removed. See, it's not really up to him. Everybody's changed or, or they, they've twisted things to, to make it seem like these uh, leaders, which are not leaders, okay? Sherwood Brown there is not a leader. No way. I don't think he could lead his finger up his own butt. I'm telling you, he's supposed to be a representative. He's not represented. He's not representing we the people. And we know this because you can talk to anybody I talk to. You can look at my channel. They're not representing. They're, they're pretending. No, they're leading. They're leading their self right on in, into uh, more and more money and leading their self to the bank with our money whenever they keep treating us like trash. Sort of like the way that I feel like I'm being done now. And you know, instead of saying, well, there's nobody here by that name, but let me check into this, Mr. Preston, and let me get to the bottom of this. Nope, this is like, nope, you're sorry there, idiot. There's uh, nobody here by that name. Well, I'm here to tell you, there's somebody there that hung up on me. Okay, regardless of the name, and I don't know if it's that office or one of the other offices, but, it, but it's got to stop. And this is just the, the bare minimum. I mean, I really want to be talking more about, you know, getting uh, more bodies down and creating a border. We don't have a border. You know, just because uh, Greg Abbott and uh, Ohio and uh, uh, some of the other states and stuff are sending people down there, we've got portions where it's being blocked a little bit but i mean if you block here and block here and then they can just go around that little section that's blocked and still come right in what the hell good is it you see what i mean but i can't do i, I can't even get to that because we have simple things that's not really simple such as calling uh, representatives leaders and they're good with that because you can hear them they can say, well, my leadership and I, I start leading and I'm a great leader and lead, lead. And it, it's wrong. They are not our leaders. Got one leader and that's the Lord above. Supposed to have representatives. They're not representing. They, they're fired. I want him to, to, to leave, uh, resign. But if he's not going to resign honorably and he's going to stay in there, We'll start right here with this here little tidbit. When I call in, or we the people, because I the people am talking to you, I want a actual procedure, a policy. Don't just say, well, you call in and you tell us. Well, you know what? How many times have you called somewhere and said, yeah, this or that? 
and then you don't you don't have no follow up. Nobody calls you back to say, hey, we looked into that. You was right, and here's what we're doing about that. And then actually be able to follow through and see that 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 something actually was done. That is to uh, I the people's liking and satisfaction. More importantly, you see what I'm saying, Hannah? Yeah, I understand. And like I said, you were just asking about the specific person who does not work here, but I will pass this on to my higher ups on a month ago of your request. No, again, see, and and here's another thing. You keep disrespecting me because you said my request. It's not a request. It's a demand. Wait, you don't you don't have the power. Wait, wait a minute. You said you didn't have the power to do what? Well, yeah, that, that, that you know what? At, you're like an answer machine supposed to do. That's all you're supposed to do. You don't you don't call it a, re a request. See, that's what you you should have did right from the very beginning is say yes, sir, Mr. Preston. I will most certainly pass this along to the people that I'm supposed to get it to. That's all you're there for. You don't have an opinion or anything else. You don't get to judge me or call or judge whatever I'm saying as what you want it to be. You have to pass that along exactly how I am telling you to pass it along. You understand that? Yes, and that's what I'm sure I've done, but I will have to move on to the next caller. Oh, now, now, see, now, I would advise you not to disrespect me by hanging up on me. I've shared multiple times, unless you have another request, I do have to move on to that. Well, I have several requests, actually. All right, what would you like? Well, uh, wait a minute, did I just say request? Yes. Oh, man, you're a good answer machine, <laughs> Hannah, I'm telling you, man. No, I, I have other demands that I want. And I am demanding that Sherwood... Uh, get involved with this that's going on with our President Trump and uh, fix this situation or, or to help in any way possible with this uh, Q-tip uh, nut wrinkle that's over there in New York trying to pretend like he's a judge and passing off these ridiculous 355 million plus your kids aren't able to to uh, to vote in the state of New York, and they can't have a business in the state of New York, and while we're at it, let's just throw in there, any of your descendants aren't allowed to do whatever they want to. They're not allowed to go to school or, or whatever. So uh, I need for him to actually do something and look into this situation of how we can not just get that Q-tip of a wrinkle bag out of there who's pretending to be a judge uh, we need to have him uh, brought up on uh, uh, treason. Or we need to prosecute him for all of this garbage. That because look at all the money that he is costing we the people right now. There's way too much, way too much money going on. And also, we need to um, get something done about these schools that uh, went woke or whatever. Because you know who goes broke when you go woke. Uh, it ain't just some of these businesses like Disney and all of them, but it's we the people. We're going broke. And actually, I would argue that we already are broke. I mean, because do you know what it boils down to? That each of us citizens of America, well, citizen, we Americans, do you know how much that each one of us owes? It's like, what, 300 and some thousand dollars a piece or something like that right now? And it's climbing? So we, we got to get that stopped. Our schools, uh, I need for Sherwood to do something, whatever that he has to get done, and I'd like a report on that. On, a, on all of it, actually. I would like a written yeah, report. On those reports, um, he actually has a series of press releases regarding border security, which he is in favor of on his website, and that can be found at brown.senate.gov. Okay, now, now it, it, is that what you're saying that... Um, you, you said those were uh, reports? Press releases. It means he's made a statement that has been... Okay, I, I, well, I don't, want, I don't want statements. I want a report, like, where he's actually looked into the, the border thing and, like, what 
uh, he what he's actually getting done. It's a progress report is what I'm looking for. Right now? Yes. Yes, I understand that that is the information that's available online for you. Uh, well, here's the thing. We can go online because we've done this before, and it's the information that you speak of is never there. You guys say, oh, go to this site and look at this. And if you go to press, those statements are there. No, they're not. Uh, no, they're not. Uh, okay. So, um, are, are you on that channel right now, Hannah? Correct, I am. Okay, and and it, and he has statements about everything I just said with the school and stuff. Yes. Okay. Now, that is a statement that he has made. That's not a progress report. That's what we the people want. We want a progress report. Like not only what he had has uh, like told them that we the people want, but what he's actually doing, and more importantly, what is being accomplished from that office. You see what I mean? There's a difference. Yes, and that's also present in press reports and updates on what the senator has been working on, um, as well as what is currently in committee. Okay, so if I go look there, you're go I'm going to see where he is involved with trying to get that uh, so-called judge, uh, whatever you call it, kicked out of there or retired. No, or he has not spoken on that situation. Um, I was speaking to what you were talking about, border security. Okay, well, but it's not just border security. I talked to you about other things, too. No, so what is it? Sure, so I will pass those on to the senator, but I cannot offer you information that's not available. No, you're, you don't understand. I just want you to do what an answer machine does and pass the information that I am telling you the demands of we the people that we want done. And this is just a few of them. But we're going to start with with the simplest ones, which we want a policy and a procedure and a follow-up, a way to follow up to see how it is when an answer machine behaves towards we the people that y'all got to get out of there. You know, you're fired, you're canned, whatever it's called. I, I don't know. Are you full-time employee? Like I said, sir, I will pass that on. Okay, this is your boss asking you a direct question. I mean, it's public knowledge. I can look it up. So, are you are you employed there? Yes, I am employed. Okay, the then that means that I am paying you. Okay, and when I'm paying you, I don't really want nor need you to like have a, an attitude towards me when you are there getting paid to do exactly what it is that I'm doing right now, which is to call in and tell you the demands from we the people that we want done. Because can you tell me what, do you know what the definition of represent is? Yes, sir. And like I said, I will pass those on, but that's the extent of what I'm able to do for you today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you keep interjecting, but you keep, but you keep interjecting and, and calling it a request and all these other things. And I told you that I want something done to where if I call in, to uh, my office, and I'm talking to people that are working for me, that I'm paying, I don't want them to be argumentative with me and to be uh, rude and hateful. You see what I'm saying? Because you guys don't understand what it is to have the jobs that it is that you have. You, you don't know what it is to be appreciative, or you would not talk to we the people like that. And it's just so aggravating that every time that when we the people call in, because I've got several people that calls in other than me to their representatives and stuff. But here's the thing. They're all our representatives. There is no line. There's no, well, uh, that's not our jurisdiction or, or this, that, or, or the other thing. Because if that was true, then that means that there should be a border between Mexico and the United States. And is there? Absolutely not. So this is what I'm telling you. I want that office to get off their ass, old uh, Sherwad there, and do whatever it is to get it done to create us a border down there. And I don't care if he's got to shake hands with that person or that person or whatever. As long as they're creating us a border down there and get it done yesterday... 
That's what we the people want. But we also want all this crooked and corruption to end, like the so-called Q-tip wrinkled bag judge. I don't even like calling him a judge. But the one that, that prosecuted Trump, $355 million, and then on top of it, find uh, his uh, kids, you know, ridiculous. And then to say, well, and they also can't uh, hold a CEO job or whatever for four years. It's ridiculous. Stupidity. It, it, it's taken away from all of our uh, money that's being sent over to Ukraine. And it's not really going to Ukraine. Some of it might be, but most of it's going into somebody's pocket. You know, George Soros, BlackRock, uh, the other ones that I can't even think of right now, uh, Biden, Hunter, all of them. Okay, so I want that. I'll pass that on to the senator. Okay, but I'm needing a progress report, and I want a follow-up report. I want to be, I want to know uh, during the whole process, like, okay, started this here, initiated this here to uh, check on uh, people who are employed in, in the office that is here employed uh, to help uh, Sherwood Brown to fulfill the wishes of uh, the people. You see what I mean? I need a policy, I need a procedure, and I need a follow-up with what's being done. You understand? Okay, and like I said, I don't have that. I cannot give that to you, but I will have to move on to the next call. Thank you for calling. No, I, I don't. I don't think you understand. I'm not. I'm not giving you permission to move on to the other call because you said. And here's the thing: I don't even have to remind you what you said whenever I'm talking. So if you hang up on me. That's, you're just going to just prove my point to how disrespectful and how you guys don't even care about we the people and that your money is coming from we the people. And there you go. And that's what you get. That's uh, Sherwood Brown uh, office. Our office. See, don't you hate Catch-22s? It's like, what do you do with that? It's like, they work for us. But they treat us however they want to treat us. We got to create a, a call a bullshit bill or something like that where when they're trying to do this kind of thing or whatever, there has to be something, a policy, a procedure, a law, I prefer a law, in place because they're always creating laws that's against who? Yep, you guessed it. I the people. You the people. We the people. So we got to just fix it. And... Uh, I'll see if I, I don't think I'll get a hold of anybody else. But now, her name was Hannah. So we want to make sure that we put that down. Hannah. Yep. Hannah's a typical answering machine. Worthless. All right, we'll fix it. All right, we the people. God bless America. God bless you and yours. We're praying for you. Thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate each and every one of you. I, my understanding is... There's supposed to be a Trump rally, or not a Trump rally, but so, uh, but a parade. So they're going to have a Trump parade from, uh, what is it? Saturday. Saturday from Benton to Jackson and then through Wellston or and something? And then further south. Yeah, one of um, my uh, longtime uh, good friend and uh, subscriber, uh, Dean, shout out to Dean there, and uh, Mr. Grover, your brother, um wrote me and said that they was having it. So we're in the process right now of finding out all the, uh, whatever we can about it. And um, again, our prayers go out for the uh, people that uh, lost their lives in the, the plane crash. If you haven't checked out that video, check that video out. Um, but, you know, prayers for the family there, for sure, down at Jackson County Airport. So anyway, God bless America, you and yours. We're praying for you. Thanks for praying for us. Call your representative. Phone number? 202-224-3121. Yep, tell them James sent you. Love you, Lord. Love you, boss. Peace out.